That leads to the next question, last question. This feeling of liberty, being free from religion, made me aware of how stuck I am okay. in my profession I am in now. Hold that thought for just a little bit because there's a whole bunch we want to talk with you about, but we want to start in a different place. You said free from religion. A lot of people will say free from bondage. The only thing that you can ever be free from is your own resistance because who you really are is calling you forward. And when you're not going, you've got resistance and then you don't feel free and you can give every excuse in the world for it and call it all kinds of other things. But the only bondage is not moving in the direction of who most of you is, who's calling the rest of you forward. Did you hear that? And so what were you saying? So I know if you out of alignment, the first thing that happens is fear sits in. I'm in a, in a, in a uh, profession. You can be out of alignment, and not feel fear. You just feel those stronger emotions. If it's something you really want and you're out of alignment, then you feel a stronger negative emotion. And eventually people end up with hypertension, anxiety, and all of those yeah. results or because momentum takes them down into the bay. And I'm in a profession where I daily treat people with that. I'm a pharmacist and I'm now so stuck because I, you, every day I know that's not what I want to do. The more I do it, the more I, I know I don't want to do it. But hear this. You also don't want to say, get up, you little dummy. I know. <laughs> you also want to say that's where they are and that's their path of least resistance for right now. Don't you have to meet people where they are? But I want to think about myself. I want to get out of that profession. I, oh, huh. I so want to do what I want to do now. Yeah. And that is to lead them to liberty, show them about being in alignment. You know what? You can do both. You can stay right where you are and get yourself into alignment on a really regular basis. You see, as you make that statement, oh, it's powerful. And it's not the first time you've said it. And it's big, it's huge, it's in your vortex. And something that we want you to know, you've heard it from us before, but we must say it again, is that your inner being knows where you are in relationship to everything you want and knows the path of least resistance to get you there. Knows your path of least resistance. Hear what that means. Your inner being knows all your limiting beliefs and all the thoughts that are in your way that are making it more difficult for you to get to where you want to go. But because your inner being knows where all of them are, your inner being can call you on your path of least resistance. Your inner being isn't saying, get rid of all the resistance and then we'll have a talk. And you don't want to say that to the people in your life either. Your inner being is saying, we know what you want and we're calling you there. And it's a joyful journey as your thoughts turn to things. So don't make it the big deal that you're making it. Just enjoy your journey. Yes. And then you'll be talking with the sky cap and you'll be listening to him interacting with the people and you'll see the light in his eyes and the smile on his lips and the upliftment that he offers. And you will say to him, I really love you. Maybe you don't want to say that out loud, but <laughs> Esther does. Do you have any idea how many you're lighting up just by standing here and being who you are? And he might say, well, I hope to write a book. And Esther would want to say, do it. But what could be better than this? Hundreds of people coming through your experience on an hourly basis and you just standing there in all your exhilaration about life and feeling good with each and every person that comes through your experience. There's just not greater upliftment than that. It does not matter what you're doing. It only matters how you're feeling when you're doing it, because how you're feeling when you're doing it is an indication of how much of you is present. And when more of you is present, the leverage of alignment, one who's connected to source energy is more powerful than millions who are not, you see. So it's not what you're doing or how you're going about it. It's how you feel whenever you're doing whatever it is that you're doing. And so 
in your vortex are a lot of things you wanted something that was a good living you wanted something that was reliable and dependable you wanted something that would be helpful to people you've got all those things now just like every creation once you've created something you don't stop creating it you continue to add more to it so you're adding more nuances to what you want and we're not suggesting that you should stay right there forevermore but we're just saying you can't get to where you want to go by trying to get away from where you are because trying to leave one place puts you in resistance and won't let you go to another place you have to love the best things about where you are which opens the doors to even better yeah. <laughs> thank you all my appreciation thank you I am the creator of my own reality I am a vibrational extension of a larger vibration the frequencies of my being are constantly intertwined the frequency of that inner being part of me resides in the fullest of non-physical energies and the physical visceral translation of that is love and joy and appreciation and I know it when I feel it I stand in my physical body in some relationship to that all day every day and on some subjects I get there easily and on some subjects I don't but I now know what my quest is my intention is to find the frequency of who I really am and practice it until it comes so easily that then I can move about this world as I have intended to with all of the existence of all of those other discs no longer in fear that I might end up on one of them but in eagerness that I might end up on one of them because every time I do I launch another rocket of desire and the universe expands and I do too so I'm no longer holding myself to the standard of only pure positive energy I embrace all of it and I accept the step one step two step three-ness of all of it I'm hanging around more and more up there and I'm feeling so good because now I'm on this faster path of getting to see the realization the manifestation the actualization the materialization of things that I've been wanting and oh it is so sweet to see those things come into being I love seeing it for myself and I love seeing it for those who I love but I'm no longer gonna hold myself to standards that feel unreachable I'm gonna practice what has felt unreachable until I own it and make it then always feel not just possible but certain mm -hmm. I know that I am the creator of my own reality I know that I live in a vibrational universe I know that everyone else does too I know that we are all well-meaning that we've all come with great purpose I know that the source within me knows everything that I meant when I decided to come I also know that the source within me knows what I've added to that and I can feel the expansion of my beingness more at some times than others it is my dominant intent today that no matter where I go or who I'm with or what I'm doing it is my dominant intent to reach for that high flying disc just to practice it for another 17 seconds because in the process of doing that I will establish a pattern of vibration that makes it easier and easier and easier and easier for me to do that so I have more of those good feelings more of the time but the most significant reason for my reaching for that resonance is because I am now understanding that I am now and have always been an extension of source energy and it is my powerful intention to provide an avenue a vortex an open door for that which is source to flow through me to me and through me into this world because when I hold someone as my object of attention and I'm tuned in like that they benefit when I look at a global experience or initiative from that vantage point 
I add value to that. When I love from my alignment with love, my love is of enormous value, not just to the object of my love, but to me as I love it. You see? I like the oneness with this pure positive energy, but I'm not going to hold myself to an impossible standard of always being there because I now understand more than ever before that if I did not allow myself the diversity of sometimes slipping from that alignment, I would not know that alignment when I have recovered it. If I don't know what I don't want, I don't know what I do want. And I'm a focuser of the energy. I'm not, I never intended to just get there and stay there. That's what source is doing as they do the step two part of the process. I love being in my human body. I love all the physicalness of it. I love the vibrational nature of it. I love the power of my mind and I love my ability to focus. But most of all, I love knowing what I now know about my ability to focus in conjunction with my awareness of the way I feel, because that's the way I mold the clay of this time space reality. That's the way I be who I was born to be. And that's the way I uplift others to help them to remember who they are.